equation of motion for nodal bodies. Nodal flexible body consisting of a beam element. Let's take a look at a nodal flexible body connected by a beam element. We can easily generalize the proposed method for the beam element to other FEM elements. The stiffness matrix of the beam element is given by this matrix. If the beam element undergoes a large deformation, the stiffness matrix may be a function of a new deformed position. However, we will assume that the deformation is always to be small so that the stiffness matrix is constant before and after a deformation. This assumption can be always satisfied if we maintain the element size to be small. The action and reaction generalized forces for the beam element is given by this force vector. The vector u is the relative deformation of one node with respect to the other node of the beam element. Two nodal flexible bodies. Let's apply the proposed beam theory for the beam example connected in a serial fashion. Since the deformation must be measured with respect to the element reference frame, a coordinate transformation is required after the absolute deformation is measured. Absolute deformation is obtained by taking difference of two nodal position vectors as in this equation. The relative deformation of a beam element is then obtained by multiplying the transpose of the orientation matrix in front of the absolute deformation. The virtual works done by the beam elements are obtained as in this equation. The generalized forces for the beam elements are then obtained from this equation by using the method presented in the previous page. Equations of motion for nodal bodies. ANSYS motion adopts lumped mass approach in considering the kinetic energy. The kinetic energy of the lumped mass is obtained as in these equations. Considering the strain and kinetic energies for the example, the equations of motion are obtained as in these equations. Note that the action and reaction forces for a beam element are paired in the equations of motion for two adjacent nodal bodies. Nodal body example. Let's take a similar model we have used for rigid body systems. The second body is divided into two nodal bodies connected by a beam element. Therefore, the system consists of one rigid body and two nodal bodies connected by a beam element. The constraints are same as this from the rigid body model. The generalized forces for the beam element are obtained by using the proposed method presented in earlier pages. Constraint and Jacobian matrix. The constraints and the Jacobian matrix are obtained as in this equation of the rigid body model. Generalized forces. The generalized forces for the beam and spring are obtained by using the proposed method as follows. Augmented equation of motion for the example. Finally, the augmented equations of motion are obtained as in this equation in a matrix form. Gamma term in the equation of motion. The right hand side of the constraint is obtained as in this equation. 